the orthodoxies. For some analysis of the other story, I'm now joined by the founder of the Wide Awake News.com website, Charlie McGrath. Mr. McGrath, the Hague, uh, Hegel has been against the idea of striking Iran over its alleged nuclear program. But before the hearing, he said that he might resort to military action if needed. Is he giving up his beliefs to get more support? Uh, I, definitely, I definitely believe that. I mean, he's got uh, some uh, very stiff opposition uh, that do not want to see him uh, become the Secretary of Defense, namely uh, McCain and uh, Senator Graham. Uh, you know, the, the war hawks do not like his position. Uh, that he has taken, that, that that war isn't always the answer. So I think uh, absolutely he's uh, changing his position. He's he's shifting towards the middle or towards the right uh, in order to uh, get uh, get the nomination. Hegel has been repeatedly called a pacifist. Do you think you as foreign policies will shift towards being less aggressive? I, you know what? I'd be naive if I believed that. You know, it, when uh, when President Obama was elected in 2008, we you know the same kind of optimism was there with uh, shutting down Gitmo and ending these wars and fighting the right kind of wars. But then we find out when they you know after the deal is done, after the elections are over, or the nomination process is over, we continue with our uh, war footing around the world. So, um, you know, I, I would love to see it. I, I would love to see a change in our uh, so-called defense posture. Uh, but unfortunately, history has proven that, uh, you know, Hegel isn't going to change the war footing of this nation. I mean, he's also been criticized for being too soft for the main military post. Do you think he, the U.S. Army will benefit with Hegel at the top? Um, I, you know, I, I think they could because, you know, he was a, an enlisted soldier in the Vietnam War. Uh, recently, when he was interviewed, he, he, he talked to this fact that he understands how important morale is to the troops. Uh, and and I, was, uh, I was also in the Gulf War, so I understand uh, what he's talking about there. We have troops now. We have men and women who've been fighting for over a decade, some of them five, six, seven tours in combat zones with no established goal or no uh, sign of victory in sight uh, and just a promise of, you know, we're doing the right thing and it's going to end one day. So, you know, if he could get in as uh, the head of the Department of Defense and and give the men and women some kind of idea of what they're doing and how long it's going to last. But again, I mean, th this is probably a pipe dream on my part. It would be a, a great notion, but uh, again, history has shown we'll commit troops to whatever cause as long as we wrapped a you know, so-called democracy around it, uh, we'll commit them to uh, combat zones indefinitely. Hegel has been strongly against major defense budget cuts. At the same time, he said the budget is bloated. How do you think he'll balance the books? Well, you know, um, great question. The United States, uh, this is the United States of America. You know, no matter what, w no matter what the politicians come before those cameras and tell you what the, the, uh, the key uh, factors are that we need to take care of it, be it social safety nets or the economy or, or jobs being created in this country, the United States will always have money for two things, you can be rest assured, bankers and bullets. We already see the headlines coming out uh, from uh, the mainstream media talking about the sequester and how this is going to gut our military. We will have nonstop uh, propaganda being uh, bombarded onto the people, the fear of uh, reducing the uh, budget of the military. So I'm absolutely confident that uh, whoever is Secretary of Defense will have a very, uh, uh, very loose pocketbook to spend, to keep spending us into oblivion. Let's leave it right there. Thank you very much, Charlie McGrath, the founder of the WideAwakeNews.com website.